Hi guys and welcome back. AI chatbots such as Google Bard, ChatGPT and Bing are in trend right now and in this video I want to analyze how useful it would be for creating video games in Unreal Engine. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, we have a Discord server with over 700 members. You guys can go ahead and join that. Link to that will be down in the video description. Also down there is a link to my Patreon page, so if you guys do wish to support me, you can check that out as well. And let's begin the video. So I have been working with ChatGPT for my game Enigma for quite a few months now, at least 3 to 4 months. And over time, I have observed and learned about its behavior. So what I can tell you guys is if you want your code to be well documented and if you don't mind getting weird solutions which you would not be able to interpret in that case you should be using ai chatbots for example something repetitive such as a function such as spawning players there is no need for me to waste my time on a simple for loop so i can let chat gpt handle it of course it does come with a few mistakes which you might have to correct but if you were to give it something more logically complex such as this update checkpoints function, it clearly failed and I had to patch it up with my own logic. So now let's actually go through several test scenarios and find out which chatbot will actually be better for you, what sort of questions you should be asking your chatbots and is it really worth using them. So let's get started. Now I want to address the following questions. How well does the chatbot guide beginners basically i'll be asking basic level questions such as how to proceed once you install the engine and stuff like that and i also want to see how relevant the answer is so i want to make sure that the, the chatbot is actually answering the question and not just going roundabout just because it doesn't know the answer and the third thing that i want to address is how effectively do they use memory so we'll undergo a circumstance where we'll actually go ahead and ask it to write some code and then later on we'll ask the same thing in the same chat we will feed the situation where we would require to use the code which we generated previously and i want to see if it will actually go ahead and use it or will it just not care about it and the last thing that i want to address is how well can it debug code so i'll be presenting a common problem which you might have and let's see if ChatGPT, Google Bard or Bing can debug it well. Alright, so the first prompt which we are going to put in is something which a beginner might put as soon as he opens Unreal Engine. So we are going to say something like this. I have just installed Unreal Engine 5 and I want to create a game with it. How do I proceed? And we are going to bring the same query in all of these chatbots. So Bing, Google Bard, as well as ChatGPT, so the chatbots and chatbots. Let's see which one comes up with the most challenging response. And depending on how accurate it is, we can tell which one is better. Now note that for me, I have used the balance preset, as this would even out what response you have to create with the size. And let's go ahead and see the three solutions. Alright, so we have received the responses from all the three chatbots. And here's my take on this. So first of all, ChatGPT and Bard work similarly, in the sense they think by themselves. And they give you the response based on the data that they have. Now in this case, I would have to give the point to Bing because Bing suggests you YouTube videos and as a beginner, you know, this is just going to get me as far as to, you know, knowing what to do. But since Bing has web references, now I exactly know that I have to click on this video and I can actually see what to do. Here it just kind of gives you the information on what you have to do but in order to know what exactly you need to do, which buttons you have to press in order to get there, which sub menu you have to navigate, for all those things you would have to prompt it further or look it up yourself on web. So one point to Bing and half point for ChatGPT and Google Bird. So we have received responses from all the three AI chatbots, so let's have a look. Now ChatGPT's response seems nearly perfect. It has in fact used the U function specifier along with the, ca the category which is really good in fact. So even in blueprint you are going to see it under the category. So that's really good. You have start index and end index. I would suggest it 
need not take it from the outer function but quick sort works best on recursion like this so maybe the implementation is going to justify using it so this seems fine i don't see any obvious problems here let's take a look at bing now bing did things a little differently it did not use our class it did not use u utility functions instead it just went ahead and created a c++ quick sort function any competent programmer would easily be able to add the class name along with scope resolution and declare the function in the class and call it a day and it even gave steps to add the blueprint callable specifier in the function declaration so that's really cool so you know exactly what to do we will try to get it to write the function with one more prompt and google bard on the other hand completely fails here now i am not really sure this language looks kind of like javascript but it really is not it gave a literal blueprint of our function and this is good if you are just trying to understand the logic but practically this is a zero so we are just going to try with two prompts now now i'm just going to prompt it to implement the function in my class and also show the declaration along with the u function specifiers and here we have it guys now bing has come up with an actually better response than chat gpt now it has given the same you know declaration and definition along with our u utility functions class and bing has gone to the extra step to actually write a wrapper function which does not need the start and end which makes sense because the array start and the array end is known to us so it's going to be zero and array dot num minus one which is perfect and the logic seems correct as well so that's a plus here i can't give bing one because it took us two prompts but i will give it a three fourth so chat gpt gets one bing gets three fourth and google bard is a straight zero so now i'm going to try to distract these chatbots and then later on get back where we will actually require to use this and let's see if it actually suggests the implementation that we did so what i'm going to ask is what type of game should i make as a beginner and for bing i specifically wanted to generate the response by itself but not provide any references because i want to test what the ai itself can do not what it can search on the web so do not search the web give your own answer now this does not apply here but i'm going to give the same prompts just to keep things fair click enter and click enter so we have our responses here so chat gpt has given our typical wordy lengthy and accurate response bing has a short and sweet response however i would have liked a lot more detail because this much itself is going to help only if you do know a little bit about video games and about this i feel like this is the perfect response it first gives a bunch of games which you can recreate and it actually gives you some additional tips which is perfect and exactly what i would want but the other two bots just gave us genres and not exact game suggestions so that's one point to google bard half for bing and half for chat gpt now this is going to be the second question which i'm going to use to distract the ai chatbots so i'm going to ask it to give me a unique idea to make my own temple run clone give the same for bing as well as google bard and let's see what the responses are so we have our responses here now chat gpt interestingly has given an answer which you would kind of write in an answer booklet for an examination or something bing on the other hand is nearly perfect it has perfect suggestions has a list of gameplay mechanics visual style and audio design and is going to be an amazing starting point for a new game google bard on the other hand is in line with chat gpt it's a little more useful than chat gpt i would say however it lacks a bit of detail chat gpt has detail but it's extremely wordy so i'm going to give one to bing half to bard and half to chat gpt 
Okay, so I have chosen a situation which you might learn pretty often. So I have a scoreboard variable which is an array of integers and we will specify a name as well in my game mode class which is called a my game mode. Now the a prefix again, the people who are new to Unreal don't get confused by this. This is just a naming convention. And I want to sort this array without using Unreal library functions because if I don't specify it, I'm pretty sure it's going to just suggest using the methods in Unreal's array library. So I don't want it to do that. I want it to use R function. And also, I am going to give the name. I have a scoreboard variable, array of integers called score, scores maybe. And let's go ahead and copy this prompt and paste it inside Google Bard, which will fail inherently. And uh, uh, funnily enough, we have run out of the limit. I mean, we have hit the limit for this conversation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new chat and I'm going to go ahead and paste this and I'm going to give it a little more context. I'm going to also tell it that I am working on a game in Unreal Engine and that's about it. I cannot tell that we have already created a function. Now in this scenario, all the three chatbots fail in the sense Bing literally just broke our conversation. Google Bard, I mean, we did expect it to fail, but for some reason, one thing that I do observe is that these chatbots really like using bubble sort. ChatGPT and Bing have used bubble sort for this. And we can try getting our code to be used with a second prompt with ChatGPT. But I doubt we can do that with Bing because that conversation is over. And with Google Bard, well, you know, we did not get the correct result in the first place. Now, this is the first time when we actually got a partially correct result over here. Although this is not ideal. So, I mean, this is going to work, but not in Blueprint. So that's good. It, it made the score variable blueprint read right, but for some reason it did not add the u function specified for the sort scoreboard function. And there's, there seems to be a severe lack of understanding in case of Google Bard. But anyways, it has at least given us a possible solution. Let's try doing it with the second prompt with ChatGPT. But we already have a quick sort function. Okay, this just completely fails and I cannot give it full points. Even though we had the quick sort function created in this very chat in a class which is uh, called utility functions and we just distracted it with two questions and we came back to it and it completely failed. It did not include our uutility functions. .hat. Instead, it just assumed that it is there in another header file. A competent programmer can figure it out by himself, but this is a fail for me. So this is going to be half for ChatGPT, half for Bard and zero. In fact, I would like to give it a negative one for Bing. All right, guys. So now I want to see how good these chatbots are in actually debugging our code. Now I have this code snippet here, which basically spawns a character and I'm going to ask it a simple question that my game is crashing when I call this function, what could possibly be wrong? Now, the obvious answer to this is that this character class reference may not be valid. And in that case, your game is going to crash. So let's see what each of the chatbot has to answer. So we have received the solutions from all the three chatbots and ChatGPT is probably the only one which actually gave the correct code after we finished our query over there. It gave me the correct code over here. So we had to make sure that our character class is valid and it did actually tell me other suggestions as well, which is cool. So this is one point for ChatGPT. Bing on the other hand, well, it did recognize that it is a possibility, but it didn't quite highlight it and it didn't give me the corrected code. So that's half point for Bing and Bard on the other hand, even though it did detect the problem, like it had it somewhere in between. So it had incorrect character class, 
but it didn't quite highlight the issue it highlighted many other issues such as bug in unreal engine 5 and check your computer's resources which is quite funny so this is a clear zero anyone who is not that familiar with unreal engine will be clearly misled by what bard has given us so that's one for chat gpt half for bing and zero for bard for the next one that we are going to test, I have intentionally created an error where I haven't included the necessary header file and I want to just go ahead and copy the error generated by the compiler and see if our chatbots can actually make out. So I will give it the code snippet. So in the above code, I get the following error. Suggest me a fix. So this should be fair and I'm going to copy over what's come out in the output log or rather in the error list. There are three errors over here. So what I'll do is I'll just copy whatever's come in the output log over here. So just the last two lines and I'll also include a little bit of extra information over here. So go ahead and print the error over there. We can copy this over into the other chatbots as well. So we have our responses and all the three chatbots were able to detect the error successfully. Google Bard as well as ChatGPT gave us the code snippet as well. However, Bing did not give us a code snippet. So ChatGPT gets one, Google Bard gets one and Bing gets half. All right, so let's give one last question and let's finalize the scores. So basically, I want to ask ChatGPT, Bing as well as Bard whether I should be using Blueprint or C++ for a specific game mechanic. First, I'm going to ask it in general and then I'm going to specify a given game mechanic. Let's see which one comes up with the most convincing and accurate response. So I'm going to ask it the question. Should I be using Blueprint or C++ for Unreal Engine? So go ahead and copy this over. Paste this in Bing as well and paste this in Google Bard as well. So in order to get a specific answer, because now we got convincing answers from all the three and I can't really judge which one is going to be better. It honestly depends on your own perception. So I'm asking one last question. So I'm making an FPS game and working on the shooting mechanics for my guns. Should I implement the logic in Blueprint or C++? Now having worked with FPS games before a lot, I have two projects called Eternal Shot and Vengeance. So having worked with those, what seems ideal is you make the actual shooting logic in the sense of the line trace or the projectile and stuff in C++, but you implement the FX spawning, sound effects and so on in Blueprint. So anything cosmetic where you know the execution of the function itself is going to be much, much, you know, problematic to your game's performance than the language itself. So in that case, you would use Blueprint. So it doesn't really make a difference whether you use Blueprint or C++. But in cases such as line tracing, I mean, it's fine. You can do it in Blueprint. But if you're going for a large scale game where you'll have multiple line traces simultaneously from multiple players, maybe C++ is indeed a better option. So let's see what the chatbots have to say about this. So I'm looking for a convincing response and no ambiguity. All right, so we have got our responses and chat GPT this time is the least convincing. I mean, it pretty much just gave what it gave previously. So rapid prototyping, the same thing, accessibility, visual debugging. I mean, it didn't really give us anything new. So chat GPT is a clear zero in this. And Bing, on the other hand, well, it did provide us with resources, which is good. I mean, I appreciate that, but it didn't quite give me answers. It just said both approaches have their own advantages and considerations. So that's fine. So with a bit of digging, you can probably make something out of Bing's response. Google Bard, on the other hand, gave a near perfect response. Although I am not really convinced that this is to a level of what an expert would tell you. But however, this is the most accurate as well as this is the response which is going to let you take the right decision. So as you can see, it says C++ is a good choice for experienced programmers and people who need 
to create complex gameplay systems and answering our question here it actually addresses the fact that if our shooting mechanics are simple then blueprint may be a good choice it also addresses the performance as well as your programming experience so keeping all those factors it gives you appropriate suggestions and it gave us some additional tips as well which is neat Maybe this much is all we needed and Google Bard's response is the most credible one. So one point for Google Bard, zero for chat GPT and half for Bing. So what can we ultimately conclude from these comparisons? Well, the whole point of the video would be defeated if I were to say, well, you know, it depends or something. So here's my take on this. So if you have to debug code, make the AI write code for you, then chat GPT is your best bet as it's the only one which has consistently given us good code. Bing and Google Bard on the other hand failed to do so. In fact, they completely ignored some of our instructions. So ChatGPT is the best when you're dealing with code. Now, if you want web references, so let's say you wanted to know where you wanted to learn something from, or maybe you wanted, you know, links to something like this. So in that case, you would use Bing. So if you're looking for resources, that is. And if you have something regarding decision making, you cannot go wrong with Google Bard. Everything which Google Bard has told right now is perfect, it has tabulated everything clearly which ChatGPT did not do. And even in our previous responses, anything where we had to actually take a decision, ignore the code, anywhere we, where we had to make a decision, so for example, what sort of a game to make, Google Bard's response was nearly perfect. So in conclusion, use ChatGPT for the code aspect of your game, use Bing for, you know, resources and use Google Bard for decision making. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video and find it useful, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Goodbye.